they do it like right in the middle of the store. So like there you are on display, you know, getting your face ripped off and then you're all red and everything. And I just hated the, I just felt like some kind of a sideshow whenever they did that. Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective clothes, accessories, and beauty haul for you guys. I showed a picture on Instagram a few weeks ago of some of the things that I picked up from Old Navy and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a haul and you said yes, most of you did. Um, so I'm going to share with you the things I got from Old Navy. I've got things from Kohl's, um, JCPenney I think has like one thing maybe, Target. Um, lots of makeup and then a makeup organizer which you can actually see right there. So I'm going to actually start with the beauty stuff first and then I'll get to the clothes. So the first thing I picked up from Amazon, I actually got two of these um, acrylic makeup organizers this is the acrylic brand from amazon i'll have them linked below you're going to be seeing these in detail in my makeup organization and storage video i did one years and years ago but i have since decluttered a lot of what i had and i have compiled everything into two of these organizers that sit on my bathroom vanity so i really wanted one that was clean and sleek and affordable i know muji is like the thing everybody talked about a few years ago, obviously did not want to spend that much. I wanted them to be affordable. I wanted them to be um, big enough to hold um, things in bigger drawers and I wanted some smaller drawers. I wanted them to be able to stack in case I ever want to get more. So this definitely fits all of those criteria and they're very, very affordable. So this is the first thing I got. I've been having a great time organizing my makeup, figuring out what I want to keep what I'm really using and just get rid of the rest of the stuff. And for somebody who is a makeup hoarder and who loves makeup and just likes having a lot of makeup, that's a really hard process. And I didn't realize I was actually gonna do a makeup organization video for you guys, so I didn't film any of the decluttering, which I wish I, sh I, wish I would have now. But I'm definitely gonna be filming me like going through my stuff and putting them in these drawers and kind of showing you the after of how I've got it organized and how well these things actually do work out for uh, makeup storage or jewelry or anything like that. So you'll be seeing those in a future video. Also, I picked up, um, I noticed when I was going through my collection that I have so many shimmer eyeshadows, which I love, and I especially love them on the inner part of my eyelid. But I use a matte shadow on the outer corner because I don't want too much shimmer. And I was having a hard time finding any palettes that were all mattes because I've got plenty of shimmers. I don't need another shimmer in my life. That doesn't mean I won't get one, but I don't need any more. But I could have used, and I did need some more matte neutral shades. And I was having a hard time. I've got some of the Naked palettes, and they're, they're nice, but they still have a mix of shimmers and mattes. I wanted all matte. So I actually found this one at Walmart. This is the e.l.f. brand. I love most of their stuff, and it's the Shadow Brow and Liner Palette. Now, I wouldn't have looked at this because I would have. it wasn't with the eyeshadows. It was with like underneath with the like brow products, but it does say it's for liner, shadows, or brows. So this is a very multi-use product. As you can see, they are all matte shades. They are all neutral. And I like how much variety there is down here on the lower end because that makes for a lot of really good blending colors. And then you've only got really two, one in particular that's really dark and then one kind of a, a lighter or lighter tone. The rest of them are very, very wearable, great for blending, um, all over lid color. So I have really been impressed with the quality of this. This was a little bit more than their usual um, shadow palettes. It is 12 and I think the, the other ones that they have that are kind of similar are 10, but still $12 for um, seven shades that are really good quality. That was a great deal. And the reason I wanted them is because I actually had an old e.l.f. palette that I found when I was doing, doing my makeup organization and decluttering, I actually threw it away because I hated the box it was in. It was in like this big cardboard box and I had taken out the eyeliner, I had taken out the brushes and the shadow primer and all I had in there was six shadows. And I was like, well, I don't want this. I'll just throw it away. I've got other brown shadows. And I threw it away and I got it right back out of the trash because those shadows are so pretty and they are such good quality. I mean, they are, I would say, in my opinion, as good as Urban Decay shadows and their e.l.f. shadows, which are like, I don't know, I think I paid a dollar. I mean, I think I paid three dollars or maybe six dollars for the whole the whole set of shadows. So they are very, very, very low price, but very good quality. And I actually decided to depot them and put them in my next purchase, which is a Z palette. I've always wanted one of these. I had quite a few palettes that I found when I was doing my makeup decluttering that I wasn't using them because I only liked a couple shades from each palette. 
And so I'd usually just throw them in the bottom of the drawer and then they would never get used. So I thought, let's get a Z palette and see if I actually use these more often. If I take out the ones that I, that I want and get rid of the rest. So that is why I got this one. Um, and if you see down here on the bottom, these bottom six, they are super creamy. Those are from that e.l.f. palette. These here are from an old Inglot palette. And then these here in the middle, the round ones are uh, BH Cosmetics from an old BH Cosmetics palette that I had. But these are some of my favorite shadows that I just wasn't wearing because they were in with other palettes. So, so far it's been working out really nicely to have this. I think I'm probably gonna bring this to Disney with me because it's such a good variety of colors and I can get a lot of different looks out of one thing. Instead of having to bring three palettes with me, I've got just one. So the Z palette is new. I picked it up from Amazon. Um, I picked it up from eBay actually, but you get the same one on Amazon. So that is exciting and that's new. Um, this next purchase, I have had this shadow primer before and you're gonna find out in this video, I think I bought five shadow primers because I'm on the search for a new one and I couldn't remember if I liked the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, it's just this one. I love the Urban Decay Shadow Primer and I did purchase another one, but I had stopped using it before because I felt like it was too sticky and it was making it hard to blend shadows so I'm gonna try it again. So I did order one of those, but I got this one also. It's much, much cheaper. It was around $4.90. So I'm gonna try this one again and see if I liked it. So I picked that up. I also repurchased from Walmart. It's the Hard Candy brand, um, a Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. I use this um, like anytime I have blemishes. So a tube of this size lasts me a very, very long time because I only use it on blemishes and I will use it sometimes on my inner corners if I'm having a particularly dark circly day, I will use it there. So it really just takes a little bit and so one tube will literally last me for probably two years, um, if not more. And I was getting ready to run out of mine. We're going on vacation, so I wanted to make sure that I had another one. So I purchased one of those and I like also their shade range. They actually have a concealer that's light enough for me. So I got that. I picked up two of my favorite eyeliners because there was a Rimmel manufacturer coupon that was going around for a while. It was $3 off any Rimmel eye product and I love their eyeliner. I use it every single day. Um, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eye Definer. This is the blackest black in waterproof. It's just a retractable eyeliner. I got two of them because I had two coupons so it made them like $1.70 a piece which is a great deal. I got two of those and then I also had a $3 off Rimmel face product. Um, coupon. So I got the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Primer 8 Hour Makeup Wear, ex makeup wear uh, Primer, which I have one of their other primers. I don't know if you can see that, the camera. It's so bright. Or the light. Um, I do have one of their other foundation primers. I don't know that it's the best one I've ever used, but it's definitely okay and it's good for the, the price. And I think I paid like a dollar or two for this after the coupon. So I did get another one of those. But I ran out of my coupons. That was sad because I wish I could have printed more coupons for the eye product because I would have gotten even more eyeliners because I love it that much. The first thing I got, and I've never tried any of the Makeup Revolution brand, but I did tell you that I was looking for a palette with more neutrals. I found the all neutral matte shades in that e.l.f. palette, but I also wanted to try the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Ultra 32 Eyeshadow Palette. That's a mouthful. Um, but it's 32 shades, they are all matte, and if you notice from the picture, they look to be all warm neutrals, pretty much. And it was on sale for $9, and then I had that 30, or that 20% off coupon, so I thought now's a great time to try it. So I did pick, I did order that. I also ordered the MAC Prep and Prime, or Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I've never used the MAC Prep and Prime. I've heard people talk about it for years. The main reason I purchased it is because everyone is saying when you use it on your makeup after you're done like applying everything and all your powders that when you spray it on your face it really makes your powders and everything kind of melt into your face and make it look not as powdery and not as cakey and since I am getting older sometimes I notice especially under my eyes that my foundation is tending to kind of settle into my fine lines and so I thought I wanted to see if it worked. If it does, I'll keep it. If not, I'll return it. But that is my first time, you know, gonna be trying that. I also picked up the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Grace. I have Cloud also, and I think they are both beautiful shades. I got Cloud for Valentine's Day, and so I really wanted Grace, but they had been out of it at the store. So I ordered this for myself as maybe an early Mother's Day present. 
Um, so I picked up that. It's really, really, really beautiful and high shine and it lasts all day and I love it. And then here is where the eyeshadow primer situation comes in. I ordered one of the Urban Decay um, original primer potion, which I have used before. I loved it before. They did change the formulation. I don't think the new formula is as good as it used to be. Um, but I do want to try it again and kind of see and remind myself of why I stopped using it. I also picked up the Ulta brand Matte Eye Primer in Nude. It had really good reviews since it's way cheaper than the Urban Decay one. It's more expensive than the Wet n Wild one I just showed you, but it's cheaper than the Urban Decay one. So I'm just kind of see. I want to do like an experiment and see which of these eyeshadow primers actually works the best. And then I also picked up the Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Primer. I did not know that Revlon even had an eyeshadow primer. And I know typically things from their Colorstay line are really good. Their foundation is really good. I used to love their Colorstay Nail Polish Base Coat. It was the best thing ever and they discontinued it because that's what companies do. But I thought I would give their eyeshadow primer a whirl. I've got one, one more beauty thing to show you. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this because I have a different epilator. Uh, I also have the um, flawless like facial razor um, that I use for hair removal on my face. And I've had an epilator in the past and I took it back. One of them I had, it was old, I got rid of it. One of them I had, it was too big and I took it back. And then the other one I got, um, it's just not very good. So that's kind of why when I saw this one, it reminded me of the one I had, the very first epilator I ever had for your face. Looked just like this one. And it was the best one I had ever used. And I used to get wax. It was just too expensive. I, I got tired of going and getting it done. Plus when I was getting it done at Ulta, they do it like right in the middle of the store. So like there you are on display, you know, getting your face ripped off and then you're all red and everything. And I just hated the, I just felt like some kind of a sideshow whenever they did that. I don't know why they have that right in the front of the store when you get it done at Ulta. They do it like at the, the benefit brows, brow bar section, that's what they call it. And like you're literally in the middle of the store where everybody can see you. So I got tired of going there to do that. So. I'm not saying I'm going to do this every single time that I want to remove hair because it's so much easier just to pluck or use that flawless like razor thing that I've talked about before, which I do still love and I do, I do plan on using it probably. Um, but I really want to give this a try. I just found out about it. It's the Gillette Venus Powered by Braun Face Perfection Power Micro Hair Removal. So basically it is an epilator. It is a rotating tweezer head that rips the hair out of your face um, a lot faster than you can with just a set of tweezers. Uh, it doesn't say how many, oh yeah, 10 micro openings capture four times shorter hair than wax. Up to four weeks of smooth skin. Well, we'll see about that. Even when I was getting waxed, I did not get four weeks of smooth skin. I would get maybe two weeks before I started to get like little hairs back. So, but obviously it's much cheaper than getting waxed. It was $30 versus getting waxed every two weeks and paying $30. So. I did pick it up. I can't guarantee I'm going to keep it. It's just going to kind of depend on how everything grows back and getting my face used to that again. You know, once you stop getting waxed and you stop, you stop epilating, your face gets kind of like, oh, I can relax now. And you go back to doing it and your face is like, ah. So it didn't hurt in most areas, but your upper lip, man, that still hurts the worst. And like right here, that does, that does sting. But I'm going to try it and see. Okay, so that's all the beauty stuff. The next two things, I'm going to get to the clothes. Before I do that, I want to show you some accessories. This next thing, actually, I'm wearing right now, it's just these like faux diamond open circle earrings. I found these at Old Navy at the store. I picked those up. I thought they were really pretty. And I also picked up this necklace, which has, let me see if I can get close enough for you to see. It has a little star in the middle and then at the bottom, and it's connected at the top. So like it's all one necklace. So it's got the star in the middle and it's a little bit shorter. And then down at the bottom, it's got like this little longer drop one with just these little stones. And I just thought it was really cute and dainty. And that I also got at Old Navy. I had some Old Navy cash to spend, so I got that. But I did get a new pair of tennis shoes. I get a new pair every year before we go on vacation. And so this time I got, and I always get Brooks. I got the Brooks Ravenna 9 and just the navy because I do wear these a lot with jeans also and I thought the navy would look better than some of the wild colored shoes they have. So I like the Ravennas. I've used the Glycerins before. I've used the Ghost before. I thought I had another one. I can't remember. Um, but the Ravenna is a pretty good 
option for me. It's right around the right amount of support. It's got plenty of cushioning, so when I do decide to run, they feel really good on my feet. They're lightweight, but they do have a lot of support um, without looking like some kind of crazy support shoe. And I don't have really that many feet problems. I do every now and again get a flare-up of plantar fasciitis on my left foot or my heel, um, but luckily, knock on shoe, that hasn't happened lately. Um, but I'm excited to have these. It's always fun to have a new pair of tennis shoes, so I did get those. And then from Old Navy, I got, and I had some Col or Old Navy's cash, so I had um, got quite a few things from there. I picked up this pair of their like active workout shorts. I really don't use workout shorts. I usually just use like these cheer shorts, which I'll show you in a minute, um, because I work out at home and I don't really feel the need, but I thought these were cute. I like the pattern and I thought it'd be good to have a pair of these. So if, they, if I end up liking these, I'll probably get some more. So I got those. I also got two workout tanks. And again, I never had really had any workout clothes before. I always would just work out in old tank tops that I didn't like anymore. Um, but I thought these were cute. They were on clearance and I was able to use my old navy cash on them. So I thought they were really cute. So I got this kind of navy one. It's got this cut out in the back. I thought that was really cute. And that was on clearance for $12 and I had old navy cash. So that was pretty cheap. I also got this gray one. It's the exact same one. It's super comfortable. I like it. It's got wide straps so they don't fall down when you're exercise. I hate that. And then it's got the opening in the back as well. And I also picked up just a basic like spaghetti strap tank top. You can never have too many of these things to go under things. So I got one of those from Old Navy. I also got a lavender crew neck t-shirt. Again, I'm pretty boring. I wear pretty much solid colored t-shirts or at least a t-shirt pretty much every day of the week. And it was really soft and I like the color. So I got that from Old Navy. And I got a couple more things. That all came from the store. From the West, no, I got one more thing from the, one more thing from Old Navy from the store. The other stuff came from the website. I got this flamingo t-shirt. I just thought it was super cute and it's going to be cute to wear on vacation, but it'll be cute anytime because I love flamingos. If you can see the little flamingos on there and I thought it was really cute and I have a pair of coral shorts. This actually looks really cute with that. So I'm going to be wearing that on vacation for sure. And then just around, around town. Uh, the next two shirts came from OldNavy.com, and I, of course, being boring like I am, got two, two of the exact same style, just different colors. So I got this, uh, what do they call this? I thought they called it something. Maybe not. Just a kind of a scoop neck t-shirt with short sleeves in the white. You can never have too many white t-shirts. And I like the different neckline too. It's not just a standard crew neck, so it's a little bit different. And then you might have seen me in one of this, you might have seen me wear this in one of my videos I did recently, a couple of my videos. Um, it's just this navy and white striped t-shirt, same exact shirt as the white one, just in the navy and white stripe. And I actually have a pair of white shorts this looks so cute with. So I'll be wearing this on vacation and then just around town. From Target, I got this, it's the A New Day v-neck t-shirt with little ladybugs on it. I thought it was really cute and casual and I really love the Target t-shirts. I used to get all kinds of the Mossimo and Morona brand ones. Um, so I picked this one up with the little ladybugs. And then I needed to get a nude colored bra because every single white shirt that I have or I tried to purchase, you could see straight through it. I don't understand why they make white shirts so thin. So I got a nude bra just to be able to wear with the white shirts. This one's actually from Kohl's. It's the Maiden Form brand, Demi Coverage, no wire. It was just really, really soft. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's just a plain nude bra, but I never have had a nude bra before and I figured it must be about time to get one if you can see through all these shirts. I don't know why these companies are making things so, so, so sheer that you can see straight through them. And the last shirt that I got, I actually found at Marshall's. I don't know what the brand, oh, Glitz is the brand. It's just a short sleeved kind of coral and gray striped t-shirt. It's kind of long. And then I thought this was really neat, this detail right here. If you can see it, it's like a T-strap right across the chest. I just thought it was really cute and different. And I have a pair of kind of corally shorts that would look really cute with this. So I'm gonna be wearing this on vacation and hope I don't sunburn because if I do, I will have a very odd shaped sunburn on my chest. But I got that and then this is not really a shirt shirt. It's just a pink tank top I got at Walmart to go underneath a different t-shirt that I have. It was a little bit too low necked. 
Um, it's just a hot pink t-shirt I found for like, I think it was $3. It's the No Boundaries brand. I've got it backwards. But it's really comfortable and lightweight, so it's not going to feel heavy to wear on vacation underneath another t-shirt. Um, but I thought it was cute. It was going to add a little pop of color right here where it's a little bit too low. So I got that at Walmart. And the last thing I got, and I mentioned these shorts are what I usually work out in. Is it Sophie or Sophie? I'm not really sure how you say this. Um, but just these little cheer shorts. I live in these things around my house. I clean in them. I exercise in them. And I can never have enough of them. So I just picked up a, another pair of those from Kohl's in this kind of bright coral color. Okay, I have another shirt from Kohl's. This was actually in the juniors department. It is the Pink Republic Pink Republic brand. I thought this was so different because you know guys, you guys know I've talked about how boring I am with my clothes. I pretty much always wear t-shirts every day. I mean, they're not like sporty, like boring boxy t-shirts. I think they're cute, nice, you know, fitted t-shirts, but still, they're t-shirts. But this was neat because even though it's a t-shirt, it's got this detail on the sleeve. So this is the outside of the sleeve. I thought that was really cute. It's really soft and flowy and it's a tulip hem. If you can see on the sides, it's kind of tapered on the edges and it has like a little bit of a flyaway detail on the sides, which I think is really cute and cool. And it's going to be really, really nice for vacation, especially because it's going to have a lot of movement to it. So I'm really excited that even though it's a t-shirt, I think it's a cute kind of a cuter way to wear a t-shirt. I was excited to find that. And then also, I forgot to show you this from Old Navy. I got just this bright coral, it's kind of wrinkled, um, v-necked t-shirt. Again, pretty basic, but it's comfortable and it's kind of what I live in every single day. Just kind of cute little comfortable t-shirts and most of the time it's jeans. But I like the color. I thought it was really vibrant and I got that from Old Navy. So that is everything that I picked up in this collective haul of beauty items and jewelry and clothing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And let me know in the comments, what was your favorite thing that I showed you in today's video? I would love to know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.